What? Are you hungry, Wilson? Do you want some food? Are you happy now? Are you full? Yes? That's good. Let's get to work. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel, it's the Sketch Monkey here. Today we're gonna talk about the 1996 Ford Taurus. It's supposedly one of the ugliest cars ever made in the modern era and I don't know if I agree with that. What I can say is that this is the peak of the melted cheese design in the mid 90s when every single line and curvature has to add a roundness to it. The car itself is made with a bunch of ellipses. It, it feels as if the designers only had to use <laughs> ellipses to create this car. Just have a look at the car right here. We can design this whole thing using nothing but ellipses. We have an ellipse right for the big car itself, then we have an ellipse for the greenhouse right here, something like this maybe. Then we have of course the graphic features, the headlights and the fog lights or whatever that is in the front. We have the intake in the bottom and ellipse, the indicator and ellipse, the side mirror and ellipse, the door handles the same and everything has a roundness to it and it's typical for this era of this car and if you look at it straight from the front it looks almost like a happy fish it's a cool design i think it suits the 90s this is what cars look like and it kind of became a uh, time period where the quality the build quality of the cars especially here in the us if you compare to the e39 5 series for example if you compare that to the previous generation 5 series you can see that the they still went with a rounded shape for the E39 but now it it still has a few defining key lines that are sharp in the design but in the US they totally reduced every single sharpness in the body of the car and this created a typical time period of these cars where the build quality as i said was not the best but they still sold a bunch of these cars with this styling during the 90s. So what I want to do today is to kind of update this design and see if we can make it less ugly because apparently people think it's a very ugly car. And to me, I just think it lacks a lot of definition. Everything is like melted into each other and there is no defining lines in this car. So what I want to do is update it, make it look like it could be from the 90s but with some modern features and basically try to make it less ugly and a little bit more modern at the same time. So what do we need to do to this car to make this happen? Well first of all, if you look at modern cars, we can't have a front that looks like this, that has this curvature to it. Today, what that will create is if you have airflow going under here, it's going to create a lot of lift in the front and this is safety, you need to bring the front down and you need to have the lower part of the front be a lot closer to the ground than what we have here and in the 90s in general. So I'm gonna have to bring the whole front down to the ground and of course do the same to the side and also in the rear have it go down something like this. And then you see these 90s details such as the door handles and this trim piece right there and this indicator and also the intakes, all the graphic features of the car we're gonna have to change. And on top of that, change a little bit of the proportions, make the hood a bit more height to it, give it more height, more definition to the hood in the front and add some key lines, maybe a sharp shoulder line that goes into some graphic features in the rear stretches all the way to the front end here. And on top of that, we need to change the wheels, of course. These look very, very dated. We need to update those into something more modern from maybe the early 2000s of Fords and put them onto this car. So with that said, let's continue here in Photoshop and let me get back to you when the redesign is done and show you all the changes that was made. All right, so here we are in Photoshop. Of course, I always get the question, what software do you use for the redesigns? And it's always Photoshop. I don't think I'm going to change anytime soon. So if you want to start with this, 
Photoshop is the way to go, at least in my opinion. So this Ford Taurus here, it's an interesting era, the mid 90s, looking at the US cars and also European cars, how they tackled this new trend of having everything be so rounded and not a single sharp line or corner on the cars. BMW and Mercedes did it a little bit different. They still went for a rounder shape, as you can see, as I said it before in the E39, but still, they kept some of the sharpness. You have a very sharp shoulder line, for example, on the E39, which I love. I think the E39 is the best looking 5 Series of all time, specifically in the M Sport package, and the M5 looks fantastic. It's clean, it's a proper German saloon car, performance saloon car, and it's the best M5 ever made, in my opinion. But now back to the Ford Taurus here. People say that it's a, it is one of the ugliest cars ever made, and it came up on a lot of lists when I was searching this online of modern from let's say 80s till, till today ugliest cars and this came up all the time the 96 Ford Taurus and to me it's definitely not in the same league as for example the Pontiac Aztec the Fiat Multipla and those cars which have also redesigned way back in the day if you want to go check them out you can scroll through my channel, I will have probably over 300 redesigns now here on the channel. But they are one of the first ones that I did, and the Multipla even has over a million views now, I think, 1.2 maybe even. So go check that out if you haven't done that already. But anyway, but I think it's cool still to, that we have this melted cheese era of the 90s. It's part of automotive design history and then in the 2000s it started to become more sharp again and then Lamborghini came in and started making all kinds of angles to their cars with the Murcielago and the Gallardo and kind of that followed through throughout the automotive industry. Now what a biggest challenge I had with this specific redesign right here is that this is not not only is it a melted cheese era car it's also a cab forward design which means that the greenhouse of the car where you have the glass area sits almost in between the two axles so the rear part is not stretching over the rear axle and the front a pillar is stretched all the way forward always almost to the front wheel this creates a larger cabin in the, for, for the passengers and larger interior space but it also creates very weird looking proportions and that are very distinct for this time as well. Chrysler, you have a 300M as a prime example of a cab forward design and this is also a cab forward. So what this does, when we modernize this, it looks like the sort of the, the rear axle is sitting a little bit too far back but at the same time if I change that much of the proportions that drastically it's not going to be anywhere like the original Taurus from 96 so I decided to keep that although the rear axle is going to look a little weird since it's a cab forward design but anyway I'm gonna finish this redesign here now and then come back in just a minute or two and talk about all the changes that are made here Alright guys, so here we are. This is my redesign of the 1996 Ford Taurus, updating the styling but still keeping it a bit 90s but making it less ugly. And I think it turned out to be a handsome beast, this Taurus that we have right here. I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that we lowered the car. So now, lowering the car, first of all, reduces, takes away that 90s feel and immediately brings it into almost 10 years forward or more futuristic just by lowering the but the entire body of the car closer to the ground and on top of that we need to update the graphic features of the car so i wanted to keep the roundness of the car because that is what makes the ford taurus from the 90s from 96 that's what makes that car special is all the rounded corners and the rounded melted cheese surface surfaces all over the car so we want to keep some of that but at the same time do a bit more e39 approach so we have a few just a few 
sharp lines in the body of the car to give it some definition and some identity most of all and I did that with for example continuing this line from the bumper here into the body of the car and into the rear bumper right there that's one of the lines that I added I also added this shoulder line up here which you can see that goes into this point right here and into probably the rear lights if you were to make a rear view of this car the third line is this down here which you can see goes into the door and into the rear as well and following this front bump starting with this point right here also the the ha the hand door handles right here I made them more square because I think that reduces the elliptical overload that is this car the stock 96 Taurus and by the way this design doesn't only happen on the outside if you look at the interior of this car it's the same crazy madness ellipse madness going on there it's just a part of the mid 90s that when designers I don't know they wanted to put radiuses and, and curvatures on pretty much every single piece of in detail on the car and that was just the style of that time so with that said all that's left now is to show you the before and after thank you so much for watching i'm the sketch monkey take care and i will see you in the next video